Yeah, I think um, on the game in general, I yeah, it's disappointing to to lose. You know, you you hate losing more than you love winning. I think, but listen, incredible second half. I thought we were brave. I think this team across this tournament have have shown moments of braveness. They just need to do it across the 90 minutes. But I think it's a reality of probably, you know, where we're at in terms of being able to physically compete across 90 minutes. But yeah, <clears throat> really a lot of positives. I think we've hit the bar on another set play. That was a major talking point coming in and, and the work we've done, I think that reflected in, in some of that. I think we've shown some attacking threat we had some key clear cut chances that maybe i don't know 12 months ago maybe that we wouldn't have had so i definitely feel like the group are moving forward um and and relatively happy with the overall the second half performance i thought spain showed their quality and maybe we maybe let them in the game too a bit too much in the first half but um that team you know they they never say die you've got players who played 390 minutes and they're just pushing on. They'll do whatever it takes to win. And for me as a coach, that makes me immensely proud. Um, hi, Ben. Uh, as you told me yesterday, we saw several changes in the starting lineup, some finishes, clear opportunities, very good defense, very fast and flesh, fresh players. And it's clear your team entered the pitch to, to win Spain. Yeah? But in spite of everything and a good second part, it was not your best match overall. Do you agree that Sas coincided that the worst match of Canada so far in this tournament, for me, maybe, with the best match of Spain so far? And maybe that was the key of the match? Yeah, I, I don't know if it was our worst match. I thought second half, in reality, we, I felt we had Spain camped in their half, and I think that's a big ask. You know, they're a top, top team. I think you talk about this tournament having teams for the Euros. We've played a team that's probably going to go and win the Euros in one of the three teams we've played. So I don't think it was overall the worst match. I thought, in many ways, the German match, we didn't get hold of the ball enough. So, yeah, I think for us, it's been three games of, of half a game, to be honest with you, across this tournament. But um, I, I can only walk away from this... This game, very happy with the second half and a poor first half in terms of... But that's credit to Spain. I thought Spain had a lot of the ball. I think we were uncomfortable with that. Deep down, I think, you know, I'd said to the players beforehand, you actually can be in control when they have the ball. But I think the nature of this team, it's not a bad thing, is they want to be on the front foot. And if I was the Spain coach, I'm saying, pay two or three passes, wait till Canada jump out and then play. And that's what they did in that first half. And we addressed that more second half at half time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Bev. Um, Spain came as advertised. You talked about how good they were on the ball. Um, for what it's worth, they ranked ninth in the world. But uh, how how far up on the uh, the world ladder do you think this team is? Yeah, I think this. I think Spain are, are more than ninth in terms of where they're at. I think. You know, in Europe, they've been talked about the favourites to win the Euros. And, you know, I definitely felt that in the first half. Like, it, it definitely felt like a team that is very difficult. You know, we've been known for our defensive prowess. And granted, you know, there were some changes that, that impact that. And, you know, I made them purposefully in terms of experiences and, you know, first cap, change of the goalkeeper, etc. cetera. But, um, yeah, for me, first half, I, I felt... You know, that, that was a fair reflection um, of, of that Spain team. So I thought, yeah, they came as advertised, I'd agree. And just a quick follow-up, uh, Jade Riviere seemed to take a painful knock. Is there any update on her? I actually haven't uh, heard anything yet. Okay, thank you. Hi, Bev. Um, congratulations on, on your tournament. I just wanted to ask a question about, um, yeah, just about the crowds, really. Um, what... What do you make of them in the tournament? Is it a bit of a concern for you that, you know, you describe Spain as a team who could go on and win the Euros? So has it been a little bit disappointed that obviously you as Olympic champions and then Spain as, you know, potential Euro champions, um, you know, having such small crowds? Yeah, I think, listen, 
you would say that the games that have been on have been a great advert for the women's game. And and if there was fans there, you'd think you're going to inspire a whole group of players to go on and, and do well. So, yeah, I think, you know, speaking openly and honestly, I thought there would have been more fans coming to this tournament, for sure. Um, but I do think that when the big tournament comes this summer, I can imagine people are going to come out and do their best to support a team that's, that's playing it at home. But, yeah, I, I'd agree. Uh, congratulations on the performance today. I thought actually it was probably your best game of the tournament. Um, I just want to ask you if you got what you wanted to see out of this tournament. Uh, you came in here, you're playing three heavyweights, and you you matched you matched with them really well. Are you happy with what you saw? And moving forward, can you build on this? Yeah, I think the important thing here is context. Um, you know, as a coach, when you lose, you, you sometimes lose sight of that. But I do. If someone said to me coming in. You know, some players haven't kicked a ball since Mexico. Um, in fact, probably half the team. You've got Christine missing. You've got Adrian Leon. I think we've taken a step forward. I feel like um, we found ways to get Ashley Lawrence higher. Um, we've got more combinations and more trusted players. I think we've, we've widened the depth. I've tested more players. I said coming into this, we come away with European experience. We've done that. Um, so, yeah, I think it was a massive, massive... I'm, I'm so glad we attended this tournament. I think we've got some massive learnings. And there's some players that have really had to step up. And I must say, for some of those players that haven't kicked a ball since um, since Mexico, some of them have just gone and played three games. And, you know, that's what this team's about. They, they love putting the shirt on. They'll give everything. They're braver than they've ever been. That's what I feel. I feel like, you know, we're ready to, to go after teams. It just didn't happen tonight. But I, I, I would agree. I thought that second half, we showed what we could be as a team.